Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MNKD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time right there, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a, an interesting move and you know when all the dust had settled, a good move. I mean, to think that the price was down there and sure the price did pull back, but still it closed up higher than where it was. So the bulls made some progress today. In other words, good move, but that brings up the very logical question, like I said, but is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce move that you know doesn't actually have any sort of true power behind it? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level and that level is right here at the 45 cent mark. Why is 45 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price moves, a price movement that's genuinely strong is not gonna go back to where it was. So that, with that in mind, think about 45 cents. Any sort of closes below 45 cents or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Whereas if the price keeps on doing what it's already done a couple times, both here and here, so let, you know, let's say it bounces around here a few more times and then heads back up, what would the, the price have in that situation? Well, it'd have a set of lows right here. It'd have this ba you know, base of lows down there. And if you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong moves do. They make progress upwards over time. So 45 cents, very important level of support. What about levels of resistance? Initial level of resistance is gonna be that pink line right there, which is the 200 period simple moving average. Uh, price temporarily got above it, but couldn't maintain above it. So that's gonna be that initial level. And then after the 200 period, next key level of resistance up there at 52 cents. So all in all, an interesting day. The bulls did make some progress. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum and start to build some higher bases? We shall see. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.